Hello everyone and welcome back to Anxious Beauty. Today we're going to do a get ready with me using all Milani makeup. Let's get started. Alright guys, this video is not sponsored in any way. Uh, it's just me and my opinions. Uh, the only things I have on my face here is I did not have an eye primer by Milani. I'm going to try to use as much Milani makeup as I have. I do not have enough for a full face, unfortunately, but I do have enough to get it as pretty far. But anyways, on my eyes here, I had the Pretty Vulgar Unchained Eyeshadow Primer. And then I also put on my face, this is the Milani Make It Last setting spray, but you can also use it for a primer and a corrector and a setting spray as well. So that's what I put on my face today. Uh, I put it on before the video started, before I put my mic on, just so I wouldn't get my mic wet and I wouldn't have to take it off and like put it back on. You know, I kind of skipped ahead a little bit. Anyways, we're just gonna hop into it and let's do this. All right, so. Uh, for eyeshadow palette today, we're going to use the Milani Glided Gold palette here. This is what it looks like on the inside for those of you who have not seen it. I'm feeling like a gold look, obviously, according to this palette. Uh, nothing too terribly crazy here. I think I'm just going to go in with... This blending brush here, and I am just going to go in with, I'm thinking, actually, we're going to go in with this Ultra Glided right here in the center, and I'm going to put that in the crease of my eye. Actually, I'm going to put that all in my eye. I'm sorry. I probably should have started this with the crease, but hey, we're here, that's all right. So this is going all over my eye. I can't speak today. And it looks just like that one. All right guys, so this is how my eyes are looking now. We're gonna go with a different brush here. And I am going to go in with Eden in the crease of my eye. So this kind of like dark green right here. This is like a oh, forest green, I guess is what you would call it. Whoop. Just like that. Looks just like that. I say nothing too crazy, and then I do this eyeshadow look, and it's quite crazy. Oh, that's all right. We're just playing today. All right, and then I am going to definitely go in with a clean blending brush here, and I'm just going to blend that. Alright guys, so that's what it's looking like. And last but not least, in the inner corner of my eye here, I am just going to go in with continuing with that gold fiend. And I think we're going to do Cleopatra in the inner corner of my eye. Alright guys, so this is how my eyes are looking. And I think we are done with this palette. All right, guys, I'm going to clean up my eyes off camera real quick and kind of take down this crease just a little bit, and I will see you guys in just a sec. All right, guys, this is how my eyes are looking all cleaned up. I took down the dramatic just a little bit. Now we are going to go in with foundation. This is a twofer. This is a foundation plus concealer. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 21 Foundation Concealer. Concealer, excuse me. And I have mine in the shade 00A Porcelain. So it doubles as two. All right guys, so here's how the face is looking. Now what I'm gonna do is just get a little bit more foundation and put that as concealer underneath my eyes. 
and just kind of do one of these. All right, guys, now we are moving on to our next step here. This is probably one of my favorite foundations plus concealer. We are going in with the Milani Highly Rated Mascara here. Um, I heard that they updated this and I don't have the updated version, so I have the older version here, but that's all right. It still is one of my favorite mascaras. It does such a nice job and I find myself reaching for this a lot. All right. Now, unfortunately, guys, I do not have any bronzer from them, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on off camera real quick. This is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Bronze It. Uh, this is in the sh lightest shade they have here. You guys know I love this bronzer. So I'm going to put this on real quick and I'll see you guys with the next step. All right, guys, the bronzer is all put on. Now we are going in. This is the Milani uh, blush or baked powder blush, excuse me, in the shade 01 Dulce Pink. And that's what it looks like there. Let me just fix my lighting here real quick, guys. There we go, that's better. Sorry, I had to fix my light. I noticed it was getting dark in here again. Anyway, so that's what the pink looks like there. Very, very pretty color. So pretty. So I hope you guys, this, you guys will see this on Friday. I hope you guys are having a good Friday and a good start to your weekend. So far, my weekend's cool. Or the start, I should say. Of my weekend is going well. Love this blush. Their highlighter is one of my favorites too. This is the Milani uh, Baked Highlighter in Dol or 110 Dulce Para, I believe is how you say that. So it looks like there. And then that's what it looks like there. I mean, that is just so much highlight and it's just so beautiful. And then down the nose. All right, beautiful. Now I am going to just take my blending brush here and I'm just going to blend that in a little bit better along with the blush and the bronzer. All right, guys, we are just about done here. We are going to go in with, this is the Milani, and I never remember the name of this. They probably always keep the receipt from the time I got it. This is the Milani Color Fetish Matte Nude Lipstick, and this is in the shade Secret. Before we get to show you guys what it looks like. Such a pretty color, good for everyday use. You guys see that color? Beautiful. All right guys, so this is a very creamy lipstick, even if it is a matte. Uh, today I am gonna actually put on a lip plumper, which I don't normally do, but I have nothing against lip plumpers, I just don't typically gravitate towards them. But today I wanted to show you guys as much Milani things as I possibly could that I had. So this is the Milani um, Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper and this is in the shade Zero Champagne. Yeah, I, I don't have anything against them. It's just, I don't gravitate towards them for some reason. Plus my lips are already pretty plump without plumping gloss, but just for today. Yes. A little bit here. Give my lips a shine. Also guys, um, I know some lip plumpers out there hurt when you put it on. This isn't one of them. There's not really even a tingle. All right guys, and then lastly but not least here, I'm gonna move my mic and put on the Milani Make It Last setting spray here so I don't get my mic all wet. So the audio may change just a little bit just so you guys are aware. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay guys, this is the final look here. I will give you a close up. I actually do like how the look turned out. I did not mean to go this crazy on the eyes today. I kind of wanted a more simple look, but I do like how they turned out though. It's given me um, Loki from Marvel vibes. Love that. One of, my, one of my favorite characters from Marvel. Anyways, guys, let me know if you have any Milani products that you really, really like below. Do you guys like using Milani? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out a lot and I do appreciate it. If you guys want to see more of me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button by hitting the little bell over there. <clears throat> Excuse me, to see future uploads from me. We have fun here and we love to have you here. I'm going to go ahead and head out for the day and I will see you guys soon with another new video and I hope you guys are well. Bye guys.